Good morning from another day here in London. Of course, there's a police car or ambulance going by right now. Good morning from another day here in London. If you saw our video yesterday, we shared our first impressions of the city. If you haven't had a chance to see that video yet, spoiler alert, we liked it a lot, but feel free to go watch that video right now, or after this video, I should say. Yesterday, we really got after it and walked about nine miles over the course of the entire day all around London, and we still didn't get a chance to see everything that we wanted to see. So today, we're gonna be continuing on with that list, seeing a few more iconic spots here in the city. opted to go down the stairs instead of the elevator. KJ chose this for us. The elevator was just closing the doors, so we would have had to wait longer than it would probably take to go down the stairs. So, just winding our way down. Tell them how many steps it is. 117 steps. At least it's going down, not up. If it was up, I definitely would have considered otherwise, but down, we're flying, we're flying. Our first stop today is a place called Fortnum and Mason, recommended by a guy that lives in our building who grew up in London. Really cool, kind of like an upscale department store slash market with like fresh produce and wine and like food and a bunch of other stuff. And apparently Fortnum and Mason is kind of known for their tea and biscuits. They actually had like a special one on display for King Charles' coronation, which happened last weekend, I believe. So we've come back to Buckingham Palace to watch the changing of the guard. I literally don't know what it's gonna entail, but I've heard it's a 45 minute ceremony and they're clearing the roads right now. So my expectations are high. <laughs> As expected, crowded, but kind of worth it. It was cool and interesting to see. My favorite part was that they were playing modern music. <laughs> True, the band was really Our good. House <laughs> in the middle of the house. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I would, was I would say if you're gonna go, go like really early, maybe like 10 o'clock, and try to get a spot like right I up against the gates. Otherwise, you're gonna be like kind of back. We could have pushed forward, but like. It was fine. Like, we didn't want to like do that, but you yeah. totally could. People were like moving around all the time, so I think it was cool. I think it was worth it. They do it four days a week this time of year Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday or, at 11 a.m. Oh, truck. June and July, I guess they do it every single day. And the significance of it is just the old guard changing out the keys, yep. changing out stuff to shift be change. the new guard, basically a shift change. Honestly, I think every shift change should have a band in a 45 minute ceremony. Like, <laughs> You're at Five Guys, they're shift changing, like it's 2 p.m. And then it's like, oh, our house, like marching band comes in, iconic. <laughs> Honestly, I think one of the things that I like a lot about London is it's pretty walkable. Public transit is really good to like get to places that are walkable amongst that area. And everything is just really pretty. Like Sarah said yesterday, there's a lot of like old architecture mixed with like modern architecture and it all just looks really good. So every street is just really cool to look at. Had to get some bubble tea. It was not easy to get here because the police closed down all of the streets around this place for a reason we still don't know. Who knows? We got the goods. Next stop today, we're going in Westminster Abbey. Tried to do it yesterday, but yesterday was Sunday. We didn't even think about the fact that it's a church and they're closed to tours on Sundays. So today is the day. KJ literally left like, I'm not even kidding, 30 boba. At the bottom of his drink, he keeps trying to throw it away. I'm gonna eat this whole thing.
So we just got out of Westminster Abbey. I think it was definitely worth the hype. I think it cost us 27 pounds each to get in. Probably worth that. We've got a 30 minute, 35 minute audio guide. So we learned a little bit about it. There's a lot of people buried there. But I thought it was really cool, especially because last week, literally last weekend, um, the coronation happened for King Charles. So I was like, whoa, this is pretty cool. He was like in this room like a week ago. And there was like that chair coronation chair that was in there that's been used for all of the monarchs in the past so very historical very interesting the only con is that it was super crowded it's like a Monday at noon so you know I would think the Saturdays are probably more crowded but that's fine so I kind of expected it to be crowded but not like that crowded this was literally everyone walking in the thing including us Everyone was walking so slow. It felt like a social experiment, which is fine because you're like observing and you're listening, but. Just made it to our lunch spot on a burger. This came very highly recommended from all my celiac peeps. So we're very excited to try it. I really am hoping to get a fish and chips. So I reread the recommendation I got on TikTok. This was not the place for fish and chips. It was like she recommended two all in one sentence. So we got burgers and onion rings. I'm very excited. I think that's the best onion ring I've ever had in my whole life. Listen to this crunch. Whoa. Well, I have to say, Honest Burger, rousing success. Really, really good. It was solid delicious. burger. Solid burger. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean the gluten-free bun. I, did, I had a regular bun, but the gluten-free bun for you actually looked good. Like it didn't, it didn't fall, fall apart. apart. Yeah. That's I think huge. those were the best onion rings I've ever had in my entire life. High praise. High praise. I've had a lot of onion rings, <laughs> like that have had gluten in them too. So, <laughs> yeah, that was. And I had a like regular salad. Solid. Oh, God save the king. <laughs> Came back to the Airbnb for a few hours after some lunch. We had to do some laundry, which is currently drying behind me because after tomorrow, once we leave London, we won't have access to a washing machine for about a week. So it should be a fun little adventure, but gotta prep for that. The shoom Indian food, absolutely so delicious. Dare I say, best Indian food I've ever had in my life? I think it's accurate. The cheese naan was amazing. The paneer was delicious. The chicken tikka was delicious. What else did we get? The, the potatoes. Potatoes, the gunpowder potatoes. And the chickpea salad. And the chickpea salad was oh my God. awesome. Highly recommend. But that is it for today. We have one more full day here in London tomorrow. Sarah is doing her Already face wash face. for tonight. <laughs> so we will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Good morning, gluten free food. I was like, why is he talking to me like that? <laughs> Basically, just like an no, up. I thought he recommended it. No, John. Oh, I forgot. So, Westminster Abbey, I thought that was. I can't do it right now. There's like a huge group of people behind you. <laughs> this is just so. I'm not used to vlogging.